Hey guys, Indy here with Ultimate Tour Reviews. Well, I just got an email this morning from Makita. Said they're releasing about 1920. Um, it's funny, in the uh, header of that email it says 20, but in the email it says 19 uh, new XGT solutions. Um, so just click the link here, check out some of the new products they've got. Um, so we've got a, it looks like a new pole saw they've came out with. Let's check on this. Um, it's a 10 foot pole saw kit or a, sorry, a 10 inch pole saw kit with a 10 inch blade, eight foot length total and got the four amp hour battery with it. Uh, now I don't know about you guys. Uh, I'm sure there's different trees, different areas, uh, where trees are tougher to cut. Um, but I, I've yet to find myself reaching for a more powerful pole saw. I've used a couple of the steel gas ones. Uh, I've got the DeWalt one now, had the Ryobi 40 volt one before. And overall, you know, I really haven't could say that I needed a more powerful pole saw, uh, really that it's, you know, not enough power. Um, but of course, you know, with the XGT stuff, you're going to get uh, just an absolute ton of runtime with these tools. Um, so if you're looking for a, a pole saw that you need a ton of runtime on, and if you want something really heavy duty, um, XGT is probably going to be the go. However, though, we don't have any pricing on this just yet. Um, so I'm expecting this to be in the probably five to six hundred dollar range. Uh, if we look at the deep cut bandsaw, that's one of the totally new tools. They didn't really show this tool off anywhere that I could tell from watching any of the show coverage from some other YouTubers. This looks like it's going to be totally new. Um, the full kit here with the bandsaw, the charger, four amp hour battery. Um, I would expect this to be at least in the four to five hundred dollar range for this kit, and uh, they're claiming it to be twice as fast as the uh, most competitors' eighteen volt bandsaws. But of course, until some of us get that in um, to test that out, I guess we won't know until then. Um, but it'd be cool to see if they almost came with like a thirty six volt bandsaw as well too, kind of just to compare that as well, because I know that it's gonna be it's gonna be pricey with the XGT stuff right now. And one thing I'm seeing a lot with the XGT stuff is uh, it seems like the 4 amp hour batteries are uh, basically their most common battery type right now. I've seen some of the 2.5s with some of the drill and impacts, um, but pretty much every tool right now is shipping with that 4 amp hour battery. Um, looks like it's the vacuum here, um, it's I don't think it's an 80 volt here, um, but it does include the dual port charger, which is cool. First one I've seen coming with a kit now. You get two 4 amp hour batteries, and it uh, looks like you get this um, more of like a hospitality commercial grade vacuum here. I wouldn't really think this is too much for design for the job site, um, but you know you can use it for the job site. Won't see why you can't use it for the job site. Um, but just checking this out here, it's probably going to be pretty expensive with the dual port charger and two fours. So we'll see where that goes um, price wise. Um, also getting into some of the head trimmers. Um, I don't do a lot of uh, head trimming myself. Um, I've never really thought that I need a more powerful head trimmer by any means. Um, but this is claiming to deliver the power of a 22.7 cc gas head trimmer. It's got that little uh, little uh, angle deflector on there as well too, and uh, looks like they got a pretty aggressive cutting pattern on there too. Um, pretty interesting there. Comes with a 4 amp hour battery. Kind of surprised it doesn't come with like a 2.5 for weight savings, but I guess we will see what else Makita is going for there. Um, this tool here I know is not super new. Um, it's funny that it's actually included here. I've seen this on the website, and it's been for sale for a bit here too. So I'm not sure why this is in the new section of the Makita website here, but um, this is the 40 volt stick vacuum. Now if you've used any of the 18 volt LXT stick vacuums, um, they are absolutely fantastic. I'm actually planning on probably buying a second one if I can find a good deal on one. Um, they're super light, got a lot of power. And if you do buy one, make sure you get that cyclonic or cyclonic attachment for it as well, too. Uh, helps you pick up a lot more stuff, a lot larger stuff, and keeps that filter cleaner as well, too. Um, don't know if they have one coming out for the 40-volt version just yet. But the only problem with the 40-volt version, in my opinion, is that this, uh, this kit here is about $400. So it's quite the price to swallow compared to the 18 volt version, which is only about, I think like 120 bucks on Amazon. I got mine at clearance at Home Depot for the full kit with the two power battery was like 70 bucks. It was like 75 out the door, something really cheap. Um, so, I mean, 
my wife does use cleaning equipment professionally. She owns a house cleaning company. And I mean, this is just, it's still too much to pay even for using it professionally. Um, so hoping for to find some deals on some of the XGT stuff to really get it in. Um, it comes with a two amp hour battery, um, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure how light this is going to be. I know the XGT stuff is on the heavier side. Uh, let's see here. Looking at four pounds with a battery. So that's not too bad. Um, and then the shipping weight is going to be about 10 pounds. So that probably include the charge and everything in there as well. So not terrible. Um, really like to get one of these in for testing though. Just the price on it, I think is just pretty high right now. And here, of course, this is the new saw to look out for now is the new reciprocating saw. This one does have orbital action. Finally. Um, I do have the current XGT saw right now that doesn't have it. And if you haven't seen my video, definitely check that out. Um, you'd be surprised that actually another saw does actually successfully beat it. And, uh, that's overall quite a bit cheaper too. So definitely check that video out guys. Um, did some cool reviews with the XGT saw. Now what I do like about the XGT stuff right now is, um, in some of the promo material, um, Makita had was they're claiming that it is... Um, tool, battery, and charger is um, all going to be dust and water resistant, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't see a lot of that stuff on the kind of the newer stuff. I know that they got the it's the XPT, which that can mean different stuff on different tools. That's their extreme protection technology. Um, but we'd like to see some more data about the dust and water protection on the XGT line. Um, now, looking at the pricing from Japan on this tool. Um, definitely check out on eBay as well as Makita Japan on their Instagram. Uh, they have a lot of cool new tool releases on there that you'll see before you even see it from the U.S. in Makita. Um, so definitely worth checking out the Makita Japan um, Instagram page as well as eBay. You'll see a lot of these tools hit eBay in Japan that are available to purchase and ship over to here before you'll see them in the States. Now, you will pay more for them, um, but if you look at, if you ever watch Project Farm, he had an awesome video on some of the uh i think he did the impact driver the 18 volt impact driver and it was slightly better made than the u.s version which is pretty cool it's all made in japan and uh very cool to see that stuff um definitely more quality but you will pay definitely a premium for that as well too at case it can be almost almost 50 percent more expensive so definitely watch out for that but you know if you're using a lot of the tools and you love makita definitely worth it to pick up some of those tools as well uh, but anyways, love to get this new saw in. Um, I paid about $340 for the kit when I bought my Recip saw when it first came out. came with a 4 amp hour battery, a charger, and this is definitely a pretty cool new design. Mine doesn't have orbital action, the original version, uh, but I'm expecting this version to be at least $399 in that range. Um, I, mean, I know it's going to be expensive for this stuff, but really hoping to see some deals from Makita here and uh hoping to see what they've got new um i feel like some of this stuff has been out before um I've, uh, they've got a lot of string trimmers they got the new brush cutter um coming out here um they've also got this dust blower um really like to see the u.s price on this it looks like a really handy tool from seeing it from other some youtubers have been using it um but i'm hoping it's not a hundred dollars um because it's just a small blower i can't see myself spending a hundred dollars on that tool uh, also got the metal cutting saw uh, with a chip collector as well, too. No guesses on the price on that, really. Um, haven't seen that in Japan or really any other YouTubers checking that out just yet. Uh, we've got a, another circular saw coming out. Uh, another 10 and a quarter inch saw as well. Um, we've got a, finally a brushless pin nailer, adding some nailers to the XGT line. Um, I know Makita nailers haven't been the most popular in the past, so I'm curious if they redid these with XGT, uh, made them quite a bit better. Really be cool to see if they are better, but also curious if they're going to be price competitive too. Um, I can't see a 40 volt nailer being significantly better than say an 18 volt nailer. Um, it's just, you know, you're firing nails, you're firing them quick, as long as it's reliable, that's what matters. You can't really do it more powerful, I would say. Uh, we got a compact router kit, which is pretty cool to see. That'll be fun to get in for testing. Um, also have a polisher, which is pretty cool. I'm sure that'll be in the five $600 range relatively easily. And, of course, this is an XGT. They got a few other items on the bottom here, but we got that uh, cooler and warmer. 
Um, I believe those are about 600 bucks, and uh, I haven't seen those in the U.S. yet, but I haven't seen them on some Canadian websites for tools. I think they're around five, 600 bucks. So that's all we got for XGT coming in here. Um, take it with a grain of salt, though. Um, there are some tools that Makita has shown off previously, like they had a top handle chainsaw they just showed off at a trade show in the U.S., uh, a couple months ago, and it hasn't had any news recently on it at all. It's still not on the website. I'm just going to quick check right now as I'm making this video to see if there is an XGT chainsaw on the website. And no, there is not. <laughs> so, unfortunately, not seeing the XGT chainsaw just yet. That's one tool I'd probably buy immediately. Um, but they've shown it off already. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But I really hope we do see some XGT sales or deals or you buy the kit, you get a free battery or two. Um, just right now, I think these tools are they are definitely expensive. I don't want to use the word overpriced, but they're definitely expensive compared to competitors, even compared to Makita's own 36-volt line, which I'm still using a lot of 36-volt tools instead of upgrading to the 40-volt tools simply because of price right now and just overall availability. It's not available in any stores just yet. Um, I mean, I really wish they would get in stores. I'm a big fan of Makita. Love to see more of these tools, more deals. I get my hands on more of these tools. But you know what? Time will tell. But it's good to see they keep adding more and more tools to this line. And uh, as we get more deals, get more sales, I'll be buying more. But guys, let me know in the comments in these, two, in these cool new tools. Uh, if you're looking to pick them up, let me know. And uh, take care, guys. Have a great day.